This is the 2024 Asus Sufico 14 laptop, which might not seem like an attractive machine on first impressions, nor it is the sleekest laptop we have seen from the company, but this guy here is a discreetly powerful laptop that has an Intel Core Ultra 9 185H processor with 32 gigs of RAM, and it only costs slightly more than 5,000 ringgit to own one in Malaysia. And it has many other things that I guarantee that you will love over other similar priced laptops. Now, I have been a big fan of Asus Swift Go laptops for many years because they always offer really good value for the hardware features you are getting. In the case of the 2024 model here, we are getting some really good IOs here, which doesn't require you to carry a dongle around unless you need an RJ45 port. The 14-inch IPS Full HD panel looks good and features a 16 by 10 aspect ratio for a great productivity experience. It also has a touchscreen, but unfortunately, you don't get any stylus support. The webcam offers superb image quality and supports Quad HD resolution videos. Finally, the laptop's display passed the one-hand test while the hinge raises the keyboard for an ergonomic typing experience, which is something that we hardly see on laptops these days, while the keyboard offers really good key travel and tactile. Since this is a co-pilot PC, you naturally get a dedicated co-pilot key on the keyboard that lets you do some generative AI stuff on Windows 11. The power button serves as a fingerprint sensor, which I have a love-hate relationship with as I easily mistake it as the delete button occasionally. There is also a new Acer key that launches the new Acer Sense software, which is pretty useful for configuring how the laptop performs. The trackpad has a new trick and it is a media mode that I find it really cool. It automatically activates when you launch certain websites or apps and deactivates when you switch away from it which I think is more useful than having a capacitive numpad like some laptop brand has. The media controls allow you to quickly switch between full screen and window mode on a video player, fast forward the timeline, and control media volume. The loudspeakers of the laptop sounds fine for my ears, though it doesn't produce any punchy bass like a MacBook speaker. What I really love about the Swift Go 14 is the performance it offers. It is definitely an overkill for multi-tab web browsing and office work, but if you're thinking to use it to edit TikTok and long from 4K videos, it is definitely up for the task, which is all thanks to the help of Intel Arc graphics. It supports AV1 encoding that takes the load off the CPU when editing videos. I've also used this laptop to game quite a bit, and while the fans do ramp up quite a bit as well, it is able to handle most AAA titles with ease with low to medium graphics setting at 1080p. Although this is an Intel Evo verified laptop, which I expected to have really good battery life, I was only able to get 4 hours of real-world use, which isn't too great if I'm out of the office for the whole day. Though I have to admit that I was pushing it every time I worked on it. Unfortunately, I always have a USB PD power bank ready to get charged. The Asus Swift Go 14 is an overall good performing laptop with practical features I really like a lot. It starts at 3899 ringgit for the Core Ultra 5 model, while the Core Ultra 9 unit we have here costs 5199 ringgit. There is also an OLED screen model for the Core Ultra 5 and 7 model, but the screen option is unfortunately not available for the Core Ultra 9 model, which I think is a missed opportunity, but who knows, Acer might just throw it in at a later time. So that's the 2024 Asus Swift Go 14. Comment down below on what you think about it. Sub to the channel for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.